Sunday at Char 10. And they're tending in with Meridian Talent. Racing. And Golden Kid walked out of the gates, missed it by two or three lengths. Meridian Talent began well, Association fans coming over. Young Glory's handy enough, and Aero Flash is being hunted right through along the rail, and with the aid of the rail is going to find the lead. Amazing Agility is fifth inside of Great Smart, and a length away is Master Roman Sky Gem. Then enjoyable success inside of King Print from Reeves Munjack and Golden Kid. A length and a half strapping Bohinia, and three off last of all is the joy of giving about 20 lengths off the lead. Aero Flash found the front and jammed the brakes on. And at a crawl at the 1600 metre mark leads by three quarters. Association fans is second, Meridian Talent third. Fourth is Young Glory and 50 inside is Amazing Agility. Three quarters of a length away is Great Smart from Master Roman the Rail. One and a half to Sky Gem around Enjoyable Success and King Print Golden Kid. One and a half to Reeves Munjack. One and a half strapping Bohinia and three quarters off last of all is the joy of giving. 1,100 metres left to go. It is an absolute crawl down the back and Wagner Borges is raiding Aero Flash absolutely beautifully in the lead. And with 1,000 to go, he walks out by three quarters on Association fans. Meridian Talent having the second best run in the race. That's after the run the leader's having. And with the tempo, King Prince being set up three wide. Young Glory pushed along to try and go with them as they put some speed on now. Great Smart's about sixth or seven the centre from Sky Gem. He's following Golden Kid three wide from Master Roman. Amazing agility, enjoyable success, hard ridden. A gap off to Reeves Munjack and then strapping Bohinia and the joy of giving. Just over four 400 to go. Association fans as they head on Aero Flash. Three up as King Prince. Sky Gem is starting to unwind around Great Smart and enjoyable success is making some ground from the back. Sky Gem darts to the lead. 200 to go. Put three quarters on King Print. Now a length and a half. Enjoyable success runs on. Then Master Roman and amazing agility but Sky Gem has the first one. Enjoyable success. They're lining up for third. Too good Sky Gem has beaten home enjoyable success and King King Print held third in front of Young Glory and Master Roman. Then Great Smart Strapping Bow. Henny has made up plenty from the joy of giving association fans. Next in is Meridian Talent, Amazing Agility, Aero Flash, Reeves Munjack and Golden Kid are the last few in. Number 10, Sky Gem, Joe Marira and Casper Founds wins the first. Over four, enjoyable success, Antoine Hemlin and Michael Chang. And two, King Print, Zach Purton and Dennis Ship. Zach first to get moving when that speed was absolutely walkable down the back. I would have had a good look at the Shingmun River because there wasn't much else happening once they turned to the back straight. Down the straight, 1,000. Race 2, Sha 10, favourite, Goko, drone 14. They're racing. Easy Dazzling was a little slow out of the gates and then copped a bump just after the start to make that even worse. Best of Luck's going to lead Dr. EQ. Next model going forward. Will slot in behind Best of Luck and Goko fourth the outside fence. Then Dublin Star, Precious Sweetie and Colonel. Jazz Steed and Shanghai Power. Gallant Crown is next from Gold and Bold. And then Comfort Life and two links and under the whip to Rocket Hammer. The leader is Dr. EQ. Best of luck travels well to the inside of it and two links to next model. Then Dublin Star, Goko, Jazz Steed, Shanghai Power. Colonel next from Gallant Crown. Then Comfort Life and a gap off to the others. The leader, Dr. EQ. Best of luck right there. Next model comes through with Dublin Star from Goko. The leader, best of luck. Next model, the middle, Dublin Star. Dublin Star and next model have gone to the lead. Comfort Life runs on late but won't get Dublin Star and he'll crack it for a win today. Dublin star beat comfort life who nailed next model at the post next in precious sweetie from golden bold making good ground after an awkward start shanghai power at long odds win a good race next in jazz steed easy dazzling goko rocket hammer gallant crown and then came dr eq and colonel and best of luck finished around midfield after all of that dublin star will win it horse number nine antoine hamlin and Manfred Mann, he's on the board early today. Antoine has beaten Comfort Life, Wagner Borges and Frankie Laurel nail next model at the post. Matthew Chadwick and Benno Young beautifully positioned just off the speed. Hands and heels didn't even turn the stick, Antoine.
All in. Racing at the 1200, Super 18 from the inside gate, easily the first away. Wood on fire around Fortune and Happiness are up handy and Dragon has landed going forward. Speedy Dragon looking to slot in but is wide. Then Judy Star from Strong Promise and Dream Warriors. Three lengths to Smart Charade, have fun together second last and Shen Lang Chi is a length away last. Coming off the back, they have 800 metres to go. Wood on fire has found the lead and Neck Dragon has landed. Super 18 took a trail and is third the fence. Speedy Dragon fourth. A length and a half strong promise on the inside of Fortune Happiness. Then Dream Warriors and Judy Star. The speed hasn't been fast down the side. Smart Charade third to last with Have Fun Together. And Xian Lang Chi the last two. 400 metres left to go. Wood on Fire leads half a length. Now Adonis has been eased out of the race at the back two. Wood on Fire leads a length over Dragon. Has landed. Speedy Dragon went fast. Super 18 gets through. Judy Star gets his chance if he can run down Wood on fire. Super 18's in the middle. Judy Star's out wide. It's Wood on Fire and Judy Star, the two from Super 18. Judy Star, today's the day. Judy Star beat Wood on Fire, Super 18. Fortune Happiness and Dream Warriors there for the fourth. Then Smart Charade, Speedy Dragon. Next in is Have Fun Together from Xianlen Chi. Dragon has landed Strong Promise and Adonis has tailed them home. Not sure what happened to him. We'll have a look at the replay and find out in just a moment, but he was tailed off. Judy Starr, number six. Neil Cullen and Paul O'Sullivan has beaten Wood on Fire, Dylan Moe and Peter Ho. And Super 18, Victor Wong and Tony Millard, third fortune happiness, is going to run fourth. He was troublesome going into the gates, Adonis, and he was tailed off out of the race. Circuit number one stands well. They're off. It was a pretty good start too. Well, Wong Choi is keen to go forward. Circuit number one, Speed Fei Fei. All for St Paul. Super winner did have a look, but there's too many inside of him, so he bails out. Classic Posh is in between horses around Wonder Express, and a length away is Happy Reunion. Then Stunning Impact, and he's a beauty, and a length away is King Dragon. He's back in the field with Well Dragon. Let's take it easy between horses as better choices trap wide, so heading forward a bit. End of the back stretch, and Speed Fei Fei leads a length over all for St Paul's and all Wong Choi third the rail. Three wide super winner and circuit number one, fifth one off in front of Classic Posh. Wonder Express is on the rail. Stunning impact is three wide and he's a beauty pushing through in the centre. A length and a half to Happy Reunion. Better choice niggled at from King Dragon, Well Dragon. And let's take it easy. 500 to go. Speed Fei Fei and super winner went up on the outside to hit the lead. A length away all for St Paul's. He's a beauty's into the clear. Stunning Impact is next around Classic Posh. Super winner coming again, Speed Fei Fei. He's a beauty. Classic Posh and all for St Paul's. Stunning Impact, Wonder Express next, but work to do. He's a beauty. Classic Posh has come through inside of him. Classic Posh, a neck on. He's a beauty. Wonder Express and all for St Paul's. Classic Posh in front. And yes, Classic Posh won at half ahead. Has beaten home. He's a beauty and Wonder Express. Then all for St Paul's. Stunning Impact. Happy reunion, Renault on. Speed Fei Fei. King Dragon ran on. Circuit number one. Better choice. Super winner. Let's take it easy. All Wong Choi and Will Dragon the last two. Classic Posh number two. Zach Purton and David Hall win it half ahead. Over He's a Beauty. Joe Marira and John Size and Wonder Express Chad Schofield and Jimmy Ting. Ten will be fourth. Classic Posh. First win at start number ten. Started at uh, a late 6.7 move, so the money came for it late from Barry number two. Began well, tucked in behind them. He's a beauty, ranged up on the outside. A ride for Karis Teton and Tony Cruz train galloper drawn wide. They're off. Righteous win was slow to go. Lucky Missile is going to go out the back. And Chevalier Prince is being a hard ridden to try and improve after he drifted back early too. Cassida Forcer and Sprint Ford through the middle to take up the lead. A length away third is Mighty Power from Big Bang Bong. Then winning controller Casemiro's into a nice spot and two lengths to Righteous win and Triumphant Horse. A length and a half to Chevalier Prince. Caught a little wide as best for you from Lucky Missile. 
mile on the rail. Winston's ladders well back with Heng's decision and two lengths to General Castledale. Half a mile to go. Cassida Forcer at no great speed. Three quarters over Big Bang Bong. Sprint forward. One away third. One and a half Casemiro. One and a half to Mighty Power. Three wide triumphant horse pushed along from winning controller. Two lengths to Chevalier Prince about midfield. Pertz and work. He's got to get the stick out on the favourite as he comes to the outside. Best for use to his outer from Heng's decision. Winston's lad, righteous wind, lucky missile, and General Castledale. Cassida Forcer leads. Casemiro went to second around Bing Bang Bong. Chevalier Prince is balancing up now. Mighty Power gets out. Cassida Forcer leads. Casemiro. Sprint forward's got to run in the middle. Mighty Power. Chevalier Prince has got plenty to do. Cassida Forcer. Cassida Forcer won it. Beat Chevalier Prince and Casemiro. Mighty Power's not far away from Sprint Ford. Then Winston's lad. Next in Heng's decision. Big bang bong. Next in is best for you from Righteous Win. Lucky Missile. General Castle Dale Triumphant Horse and winning controller. Cassida Forcer. Karis Teton. First out and first home. Will beat Chevalier Prince. He just needs to learn to be a racehorse. He's done well to get into second again, and Casemiro every chance in third spot. It will be three, six, ten, and seven. Cassida Forcer at start number 19 was able to get across. He was backed in late. He came into 8.9 at the end. Chevalier Prince. One point nine more of courage drawn the 14. Money for the horse drawn 13. They're off. Baltic Whisper missed it by a length, and Alcari was slow also. Cue the music and Kirpany both away well. War of Courage on the grandstand rail. Poised to strike Goodview Clarico in the first five from Whiskey Neat and California Archer is nearest to the inside fence from Diamond Brilliant Baltic Whisper. Next is One Ball from Zero Hedge, Alcari, Swift Spirit, and Smart Folks. It's War of Courage under a hold leading Annette Kirpany. California Archer towards the middle, then Goodview Clarico poised to strikes under pressure. Diamond Brilliance in the centre of the track from Whiskey Neat. Baltic Whisper is next from Zero Hedge. War of Courage, 2.50 to run. Leads at a length on Kirpany. Good view, Clarico. Cue the music is next. And then Diamond Brilliant. It's War of Courage, the leader, though. Down past the 50 metre mark. Good view, Clarico goes with him. Good view, Clarico again. Good view, Clarico. Three in a row beat War of Courage and California Archer. Then cue the music. Next to run past a zero hedge from Diamond Brilliant, Whiskey Neat Kirpany. Poised to strike Baltic Whispers with Spirit One Ball, Alcari, and last in a smart folks. Good view, Clarico. Ben So and Dennis Ship. War of Courage travelled like the winner everywhere. And the 11s run past him. Eights run third, California Archer. Weight claim up in grade and good view. Clarico's run the favourite down to score, going away by a neck. Ben So had him placed beautifully. War of Courage was able to get to the outside. He travelled under a tight hold of Chad Schofield. Gift of lifeline, Chad Schofield for Tony Millard. They stand well at the mile. Racing. Wealthy employee missed the start by a length. Everlaf is keen to go forward. Alpha Hedge, Tungwa Glory and All's gone up to make a line of four. Reynolds, he's got his legs in there too. Fifth hand enough around Gift of Lifeline. Zhan Ying's a length away next from Mr. Alden. He's last with Wealthy employee and cheerful leader in front of him. Or across to lead at the 1,200 metre mark and keen to roll too. He's gone out by three. Everlaf's running second and third Tungwa Glory against the rail. A length and a half away, fourth is Alpha Hedge around Gift of Lifeline. Favourite cheerful leader is running sixth and one off the fence around Wealthy Employee. Reynolds is pushing up in the middle, so the favourite's three wide from Zhan Ying and Mr Alden is last. Inside the 800 metre mark, and Orr is out by about three and a half to four lengths on Everlaf running second. Tungwa Glory is third, the rail. Alpha Hedge travels well fourth around Gift of Lifeline. Next is cheerful leader from Reynolds on the fence. 
Jian Ying, wealthy employee, and Mr. Rolden is last, heading for home now, 4.75 to run, all asked for more, as Everlaugh quickly claimed him, Alpha Edge in the chipping cheek pieces runs on, cheerful leader despite the runners wider out, Jian Ying's wider again, then Tungwa Glory, cheerful leader despite a tough run, leads a knock on Alpha Hedge, then Jian Ying, gift of lifelines got through, leader is cheerful leader, gift of lifeline is his danger with Mr. Alden driving at the pair, gift of lifeline, yes, gift of lifeline, one of the nose, Mr. Alden in a photo, cheerful leader ran third, then Jian Ying, next in is Alpha Hedge, followed in by Everlaugh, Tungwa Glory, next in is wealthy employee, all pulled too hard in the lead and Reynolds is last home. Gift of Lifeline. On the inside, I'll win it just. Chad Schofield and Tony Millard. Mr. Alden out late. Wren at Gift of Lifeline. He misses. Eight cheerful leader, a tough trip. He's run third. And Zhang Ying, number three, is going to run fourth. Another close finish. Gift of Lifeline. Chad Schofield for Tony Millard. Had Barry number one. Just took some time to work into the clear. Eight point five now, Righteous Doctor, and he's gone green on the win lay also. This is the eighth at Shard Ten. They're racing. Arrogant was slow from the centre of the line, thinking big and private secretary and amazing beats are away well. Butterfield is fourth early from Super Oasis, a length away, fifth the rail inside of Enrichment. Next is Uncle Steve from Arrogant, who's gone through on the fence from Righteous Doctor and Rickfield. And Helena Baby is last. They run through the first 400 metres and thinking big is out by ahead. Private secretary's worked up to be second and amazing beats one off the rail third. Fourth, the inside is Super Oasis, and there's no great speed on. A length and a half to Butterfield from Arrogant Saving Ground, the fence, and a length away is Enrichment. Three wide Rickfield from Helena Baby, Uncle Steve, and Righteous Doctrine is a half a length away last on the fence. Thinking big at the 1,000-metre mark. They haven't run the backstretch fast, and he's out by a length. Private Secretary is second, and Rickfield has gone up three wide outside the leader now. Super Oasis having a nice trip, the favourite. Fourth, the rail from Amazing beats one off and three wide enrichment a length away is butterfield from arrogant the fence and then uncle steve righteous doctrine and helena baby is last thinking big speed increases at the 600 meter mark rickfield's a neck away and super oasis is traveling beautifully third the fence ridden up private secretary so too butterfield then came amazing beats uncle steve to the outside the leader at the 300 meter mark is thinking big on its outside super oasis Oasis, Purton hit the go button now as Butterfield went to third. Uncle Steve's wider out. Then came Elena Baby. Super Oasis, 125 to go. Leads a length and a half. Righteous Doctrine, Helena Baby are both flying home. Super Oasis in front. Righteous Doctrine got him. What a win. Righteous Doctrine went bang and nailed Super Oasis. Helena Baby went a ripper. Next in is Butterfield from Arrogant Thinking Big. Then came Amazing Beats Private Secretary Rickfield. Last two in Richmond and Uncle Steve. Righteous Doctrine, what a win. Karras Teton, and wasn't he happy after the line? He's come from last off a slow speed. Super Oasis was home for all money. Helena Baby, the outsider of the field, has run through the centre. Butterfield has run fourth. The all-weather horse. So this is race nine. All in. Start of Mr. Tony Speechley's happy. They're racing. The big fellow, Chikorita, is going to drift straight out the back at the start. Smoothies away well. Team Power looking to get handy. Doesn't really want to contest the lead as Smoothies goes on with it. As does Car Ying Excellent. Three wide, triple, triple, and four routers. Hello, Daddy. Taking aim has come through to be fifth on the heels of Smoothie, and Team Power, after all of that, is between horses. Two links to Lobo's Legend, then Chikorita, Pickin, two links to High Rise Soldier, and natural winner is last of all. It's Smoothies off the back. Out 
by a length over Kaying. Excellent, 800 to go. Triple, triple up, three wide, and then came taking aim. Next is Team Power. Hello, Daddy, three wide, but with cover. Two links, two Lobos, Legend, and three wide pick, and the inside is Chikorita. Natural winner second, last and last of all is High Rise Soldier. 500 metres to go. Smoothies leads, three quarters over Kaying. Excellent, hard written, triple, triple. Pick and makes a run around Hello Daddy. No run for Team Power, nor taking aim at High Rise Soldier's wider out. Here's a go. Smoothies picking down the centre of the track. High Rise Soldier runs on. Hello Daddy kicks, taking aim still is held up. Pick is the leader. Three quarters on High Rise Soldier. Lobo's Legend makes some late ground into third, but Pickin'. They won't stop Pickin'. Beat High Rise Soldier and Lobo's Legend. Hello, Daddy. And Kaying excellent for fourth. Then Smoothies taking aim. Natural winner. And Team Power, Chikorita and Triple Triple the last few in. Pickin', Joe Marrera and John Moore has beaten home High Rise Soldier, who's come from the back for Antoine Hamlin. In Francis Loy and Lobo's legend, Karis Teton and David Ferrara's third, fourth, will go the way of Hello Daddy, who covered some ground. He fought on. He's racing pretty well, Hello Daddy. His last two, no match for the first three. Speaking of racing well, Pickin certainly is that. Now five from 2080, ran second, a fantastic show last time. He started a long, wide run from the 600. Joe Marira for Douglas White in a flame. They're already at the 1,200. Off in the last at chart 10, and President's Choice and Young Legend both began well. Tom Style third early, and Inner Flame being sent forward to go and join the leaders. He's gone forward fast, Inner Flame, and he's going to find the lead at the end of 200. Mig Energy's looping the field too to go up outside the front runners. Ella Gear is into fifth around Tom Style from Halaku Knight, Super Chilin. A length away, Ping Hai Bravo from Kung Fu Fighters, Super Rich, and a length and a half. Happy Fortune, 12 lengths off Mig Energy who's outside of Inner Flame but leads him half a length. Young Legend third, President's Choice, a lot handier fourth on the rail from the good draw. Next is Ella Gear from Tom Style, hard written Halaku Knight, Super Chilin, Ping Hai Bravo, Super Rich and Kung Fu Fighter, Inner Flame, back through to lead Meg Energy. Young Legend three up, President's Choice, hard written, not doing enough behind them. Tom Style wider out, and then came Halaku Knight, Ping Hai Bravo's run into a pocket, the leader Inner Flame, President's Choice, starting to pick up now. Out what a young legend. In a flame is three quarters in front of President's Choice and Young Legend. And that is how they finish in the last. In a flame wins, beats President's Choice, Young Legend, Ping Hai Bravo. He might have been unlucky fourth from Ella Gear. Super Rich and Mig Energy. Next in Tom Style from Happy Fortune, Super Chilin, Kung Fu Fighter. And last in is Halaku Knight. Final race of the day. In a flame, Joe Marura and Douglas White. President's choice, the further he goes, the better he looks. Nothing wrong with his run. He got into a good spot from the draw, but the winner's smart and good. The second horse is too. And Young Legend raced handy enough. Ping Hai Bravo's been unlucky behind them. But in a flame, he was out quickly. Not first out. Quickly to get across and find the lead. President's choice actually lost him.